welcome to this video where today I'll be talking about the feed management system at VAS. I'm the product manager for our feed product line. My name is Jerry Lavoie and real excited for uh, this presentation. Again, thank you for tuning in and really a lot of really key and exciting things to talk about with feed management. You know, really we have tools like never before where we can monitor performance. You know, we have a lot of key data points that are accessible and easy to consume. So we'll be going over some of that today. And to start off, uh, for those that aren't familiar with VAS, really just want to kind of touch on what, what is the mission at VAS? And, and really it's to transform the progressive dairy operations through connected technology intelligence and analytics to enhance the profitability and sustainability for producers globally. And one of the key parts of that that I'll be touching on today really is the connected technology. So we have a lot of really innovative and, and new tools available to dairymen. And so we'll be touching on some of those key parts today. So to achieve that mission, really there's gonna be the five strategic pillars that we'll be looking at. Uh, one of the main ones of course is gonna be the herd management. The focus in this video presentation will be on the feed side. And then the other three pillars will be the traceability and sustainability tools, integrations, which is something we've at VS, we've been very, very busy in recent years on. And then finally, we have all these data points available. So we want to provide these unique insights to the dairymen to, to look at farm performance. You know, so taking a step back, looking at the dairy as a whole, you know, to take those five strategic pillars, we really want the VAS Pulse platform to be able to provide that data gateway for the industry. So a lot of talking points here. Again, we'll be focusing really mainly on the, the feed side today. So looking at our two main product lines as it relates to feed management at VAS, and that's gonna be FeedWatch and Wacom. So as you know, uh, feed is very expensive. 60 to 70% of farm expenses are accounted with feed. So really these are two very, very important products that we have to, to help manage that and provide really top-notch performance metrics for the dairymen. Because really what we want to do is, is before we even get to, to feeding, we want to know what comes to the, to the dairy. So that's where Wacomp comes in. And then what happens to the feed when it's there on site at the dairy? How is it stored? How is it affected? Dry matter, shrink, looking at all of those type of things. And then of course, once you're feeding, you know, looking at the loading process itself, what's loaded, what's mixed, what's been fed, and then of course the consumption of that feed. And then finally, what leaves the dairy? Milk, cattle, feed, all of that getting recorded as well. So looking at Feedwatch specifically, so really there's six Kind of main takeaways so starting off with feed inventory again we have very expensive commodities so you know really we want to know with a high degree of accuracy what feed inventory we have on farm this of course is very beneficial for a number of reasons so this really goes hand in hand with with way comp to get everything tracked accurately and efficiently so part of Feeding, of course, setting a daily target. So that's very, very important. You know, whether that's the nutritionist, dairyman, or the feeder, setting that daily target for the pen is something we look at throughout the day with Feedwatch to say, okay, this was the target. How much have we fed? How much do we have to go to get to that target? So we don't want the feeder to go home until they've met that target. So we want that very transparent, easy for the feeder to, to know that information available. So next, feeder performance. So that might be the key part of the, all of this, right, is even the best feeders are still gonna make errors. So we have a number of different ways that we can manage, you know, and monitor the, the usages, what goes into that mixer, what's been dropped, you know, what ingredients are getting overloaded or underloaded the, the most frequently. How can we tighten up those errors? So, a lot of different metrics that we can look at as, as far as feeder performance. Uh, really, it's, you know, the way to think of it, it's really the report card of daily activity as it relates to feed management. 
So that goes hand in hand with, of course, the feed usage, you know, how the feeder is performing while they're feeding uh, affects the usages. So that's a, a key part that we'll also be looking at. And then the pen intakes, you know, the nutritionists, the dairymen, they'll be focused very closely on that to know what it, are the pen intakes across the board? What are the trends? Are we being consistent and efficient for, for all my pens in terms of intakes? And then finally, taking all of those data points and adding that up, really at the end of the day, we want to know, okay, how is the feed efficiency? What's my income over feed cost? You know, I'm pumping these high dollar ingredients into this rations. Are we getting the return on, on that with the milk? So that's kind of the, the final piece to, to measure all of that is, is how efficient are those pens performing? So taking a a diagram look at Feedwatch. This is kind of a, a typical layout of, of Feedwatch. So really kind of the main point here to show is, is how connected the system is. So you can see number of different places we can look at for information. So of course we have our Feedwatch in the office and you know the program installed on a desktop computer. A few years ago when we launched VS Pulse platform, we also launched FeedComp, which is the, the feed space inside the Pulse platform. And so what that allows is the dairymen or the nutritionists, they can literally be out away from the office and see that feed watch information on a mobile device. And then finally, we have the, the equipment available for the feeder. So we want to have a constant communication with the office. So we have real time the best we can in the mixer and then in the office as well. And this data can be transferred a, a couple of different ways. We can transfer this data via radio frequency or Wi-Fi. And again, the, the feeder, they can look at this online as well. If, if they have a mobile device, they can easily uh, change their, their bunk scoring, the pin counts, targets uh, on the mobile device or on the scale application as well. So again, the Data is very easy to consume, multiple different ways we consume the data. So really, what is the targeted information that you're looking for? So whether you're the feeder, the herdsman, dairyman or nutritionist, each one of those people likely would be looking for different information. So we can provide a number of different things in, in different platforms. So whether it's on the computer, mobile device or out at the scale equipment, we have that information available. Consultants have a number of different ways that they can look at the information as well. If they're connected to the Pulse platform, then they can have access to the information right there on the website. Uh, we can also email the reports directly to the consultant uh, or even set up a Feedwatch consultant for the nutritionist as well. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at Wacomp. So Wacomp is a really new and exciting product. We released it last year and really excited about this new product because it, it it really connects the whole feed ecosystem on the dairy. So with these expensive transactions, you know, showing up every day at the dairy, we want to monitor that in a real quick and easy and efficient way. So, so Wacomp is a key player in that. So if you're the driver, you're going to record your spot deliveries. If you're a milk driver, you do a spot pickup. And the dairyman can, in real time, view all that information in the Pulse platform, uh, make any edits to the transactions, and then finally, once they've reviewed and, and then they can finally approve the transaction to, to mark it as received in Pulse platform. And then moving over to harvest. So we want, want to track everything with the harvest, every load, all the metrics. And so that will, will be available in real time uh, to the dairyman in Pulse platform. And then also in real time will be the harvest total. So we can view the harvest information. I can, you know, change specific load information. Once I've done that, approve the whole entire harvest and then view the yield summary. So as soon as that first load shows up for harvest, the Wacomp system is automatically tracking the yield summaries. So taking a look at the Wacomp system, so you can see a you know, pretty, pretty easy system, not too many moving parts, just like 
we want it to be. So uh, you can see the a kiosk type device in the scale house. So touchscreen tablet that the driver, you know, really without any training, they can utilize to, to quickly enter in their delivery or, or pickup information. All that information is available real time in the Pulse platform. And, and that information can be sent uh, either via Wi-Fi or cellular connection. And again, key, key part, we want to have all this data very easily consumable. So we send that from the tablet up to the flat platform and then also plummet that back down to FeedWatch. So we can actually see those transactions available in the FeedWatch desktop application because there is where we'll be monitoring the, the inventory. So as the transactions happen, the inventory will automatically be updated in FeedWatch. So this is a look of how all the data is presented in the Pulse platform. So you can see the Wacomp information here for transaction management. So I can quickly and easily filter the data. If I wanna look at just pickups, just deliveries, uh, a particular product, I can quickly and easily do that. It allows me a real efficient way to, to view, edit, and then finally approve all the transactions that come to the dairy. And then looking at harvest, you know, so again, we want to look at every single load that arrives for the harvest. So uh, real quick and easy way I can do that. I can filter it to look at, you know, specific fields or specific truck data. And then my favorite part of Wacomp really is the, the yield summary. So again, as soon as harvest is started, I start recording my transactions. I got a a constant yield summary that's kind of running in the background so I can look at different breakdowns, you know, looking at yield per truck, the yield per field, the yield breakdown day by day. And then if I'm putting up multiple locations, you know, pile one, pile two for corn silage, that's automatically broken down. So, you know, really the goal is to eliminate spreadsheets, you know, let's let Wacomp do the, the number of crunching for you. So that concludes the presentation today about feed management. And I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us at VAS.com or 888-225-6753. Thank you. Have a great day.